Hey everyone, Justin here, and today I'm going to show you a new powerful hockey statistics tracking app that can do a wide range of things to help make managing your hockey stats much easier. So before I show you the interface, let me go over some of the reporting options that you can find from this app. So let's, uh, let's have a look first at our simple game summary sheet, which will give you a summary at the end of every game. And you'll find that you'll have your common stats, uh, your goals, your points, uh, plus minus, your shooting stats, pass percentage, and face-off stats. And then at the very end, you'll also have two custom areas, custom one, custom two, which you can set to be whatever stat you would like to look at. Uh, as we scroll down, we've got our shot location, which shows you your quality shots, the opponent shots, and uh, shots from outside of the uh, home plate area. We can scroll down to our scoring. We can get more specifics on the time, the strength, uh, breakaway rebound tips, as well as scoring locations. We can get into ice time where it'll give you your total time on the ice, your total even strength, the percentage and time that you are on the attack versus the neutral zone versus the defensive zone, as well as your power play and shorthanded time. We can also extrapolate a, an estimated shift length average based on how the interface puts players on and off the ice. So we move on to the shooting report, which you can find here, which will give you a, a summary of each player's shots for and against, um, as well as how many shots occurred while they were on the ice. You'll have a course year rating and a percentage of the total shots for and against your team. We also have a face-off wins, uh, well, a detail. So there's a few different face-off reports. This one breaks down the detail. If it was on the forehand, the backhand, if it was one forward, if a winger stepped in, as well as which zone. That's all zones. We've got the defensive zone we can look at, uh, the neutral zone, and we can break everything down by zone and style of win. Moving over, we've got the pass report, which is going to give you a pass completion percentage based, again, on zone. We can look at what our pass completion rate was in the defensive, the neutral, or the offensive zone. And um, it will give you a summary there. There's a few other reports at this time available. But these are kind of the four main ones I wanted to show you, and we'll be adding more in the future. So let's jump back and have a look at the interface. So you'll find that we've got a pretty simple menu when you first enter. We've got the games, your lines, roster, opponents, the reports, and the track assist is where you can connect another device to help feed different statistics. So you can have multiple users uh, providing different statistics. If one person wants to track face-offs and shots and passes, you can do that with up to uh, five supported devices all feeding this one device here. Um, your accounts is where you can set up your subscription and then we'll have a look at the settings where we can customize some things, our team name, our division, um, custom stats here. So for our custom our custom one, we're going to put in forced turnovers we're going to track and we're going to give an abbreviation of FT. So anywhere in the app, it's going to replace custom one and C1 with our custom, uh, our custom uh, forced turnovers and FT. Uh, we can change the colors. And then if we go to customize stats, this is uh, pretty important. It, it gives you options of what you can track. If you want to track ice times, uh, face-offs, missed shots, block shots, turnovers, body checks, your custom one. Um, we've turned off custom two. We're just going to show you the one custom stat. Uh, we got body body checks. Uh, we can also toggle on how many lines we want on each, the forwards and the defense. Uh, typically, you'll you'll probably have these both off four four forward lines and seven defensemen, and we've have, have a feature for making tracking ice time easier. Where when you record a face off, it automatically starts recording ice time. So we'll leave that on and face off type, which lets you specify how the face off was won. We'll leave that on as well, and then we'll go back and we'll set up our game. So we'll click on the icon at the top left to bring us back to the main page. And the first thing you're going to, want, going to want to do is set up your roster. So I've done this uh, for the most part already. You want to add all of your players in. We'll just click the plus button here. We'll add uh, we'll add one player just to show you. Conway Smith. And uh, we'll give him 83. Hopefully that's not taken. Okay, so we've added that player. And the next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to edit your line. So you want to put everybody where they belong. So he's just going to be on his own line. We're only going to show you two lines here. You can uh, obviously go all the way up to four. I think on average you're going to probably find yourself with three lines. And then we'll go to our opponent section here. 
and we'll want to add whatever opponent we're going to be facing. So we'll we'll just uh, add in the Hawks here, and you can pick whatever division they belong in. We'll go AAA Hawks, hit Create, and now we've got two teams in here. So we want to create a game. We'll hit Games. We'll go to the plus bottom in the bottom right. Pick our date. Then we will select our opponent. We've got the Hawks, and if it's a home game, we'll have at. So we'll make it a home game at our team, which we've called the Storms. And we'll consider this a regular season game. We'll hit Save. It will tell you the game's been created, and it'll show up in your games menu here. So we'll click on it now, and then we'll hit Play. And this brings us into the tracking interface. So the way the tracking interface works is it lets you move players on and off the ice. On the left side you have your forwards, on the right side you have your defensemen. So if we push the check mark or the, the X, it'll move them on and off the ice. And if we want to do an individual player, we can just double, double tap on them. This is being shown on a PC. So on a mobile device, an Apple or Android, you'll just double tap these icons. So we'll uh, put them on. Now we've got a clock in the bottom left. So if we were to start the clock right now, it's going to start tracking ice time for all of the five players that are on the ice surface. And you can actually add more. So if we had all of these defensemen, it's going to be tracking time for them as well. Um, the zone can be set in the bottom here as well. So if the puck's in the offensive zone, we hit the A and we'll consider them on the attack. If it's in our own end, we'll hit the D and it will calculate time for these players in the defensive end. We'll go back to five players just to keep this simple. And then if we want to add any statistics for shooting, we or shooting or passing or anything, we'll simply press on this player. And as soon as we start to move it, this menu will appear. And we can assign a shot. So if we drag it to the location where the shot took place, it will confirm that a shot was put on net for player 11, Smith. And again, we can just drag him over. It's a very simple interface. Drag to where the event happened, missed shot, force turnover, incomplete pass, whatever the situation is. And to record shots against, we'll grab the opponent at the top here and we'll do the same thing. We'll just drag him to the shooting location and that will record a shot against us. So we'll just stop the clock here and I'll show you the face-off feature. So it's important to set the zone before any face-off occurs and that will that will track exactly which zone the faceoff happened in. So if we're in the offensive zone here, we'll hit A, and then we'll take our four, we'll drag him to faceoff one. So it's going to pop up and it will ask how the faceoff was won. We'll hit forehand and faceoff one, and it will track that that was in the offensive zone. And you'll see the clock has started here, and that's the auto faceoff start clock feature in the settings menu that we discussed earlier. So we'll stop the clock again. And I'll show you a few other features here. So if we want to add a goal, if we scored a goal on this shift, let's actually go back here. So you'll see these players that are on the ice. So ideally you will want the, the players that were on the ice when the goal happened on the ice right now. We'll go back to hit goal and you'll see these five players that were on the ice have transferred into the plus minus box here. Now we'll just click, click and drag our goal score and our assists where they occurred. We'll click where the goal was scored, the location, and we can click the info bo uh, box in the bottom left and give some more information if you like. Uh, the strength, um, if it was tipped, we'll give it a time, so 209 and the period. And then when we're done, we could just hit save and it's going to record that goal and the plus minus for whoever was on the ice. And the same thing can happen with the goal against. We'll, uh, we'll put a different line out for a goal against. Actually, we'll put the same forwards. We'll just change the defense. And then we'll hit goal against. And again, it brings everybody on the ice into the plus minus category. We can put in a number here for our own reference on what opponent scored that goal. Again, we can pick the location. We'll go to info and we will change the time. And then we'll just hit save. And now we have a 1-1 game. The last option there we have is penalty. So we can click the penalty box or the penalty button. And this will appear here. We'll just drag our player into the penalty slot. And again, we'll, we'll give it a time. We can specify exactly what the penalty was. We can also click other and then we can type it in if we prefer. 
and then again we can go to there's the details at the bottom we can we can add a few more details about it if the length was different the, the period and then again we'll just uh, we'll just hit save and it will add that penalty now if you want to track time for different strength at the top here where it says even if we are on the power play penalty kill two men short four and four and four whatever the situation may be we can change it here and the stats will be recorded um, properly so for instance if we were to take a shot here this shot is not going to be impacted in the Corsi rating which measures only even shots and same with our plus minus rating everything will will be driven by the strength of the event in the top left corner you'll see a menu button and if we click on it it'll bring an in-game menu up where we can assign a few more characteristics about the game we can go to game status here we can change the period and that's going to calculate the shots and events accordingly to what period they occurred in so we can retrieve that accurately later we can also change which goalie is in net for us so any shots against will be uh, assigned specifically to that goalie and um, and goals so we know exactly what stats are being measured up against which goalie and we have a summary of the shots here in the shot save we can toggle on different goalies and uh, you can see we'll, we'll also break down by period one two three and four we've only put some shots in the first so that's all that's showing right now and what else we can show you the events here so the events are a summary of everything that's just occurred in the game every stat that you've entered we've had a pass here by Smith uh, a custom one which we've assigned as a forced turnover uh, by Smith so we can just delete these if an accident occurred we'll just hit this little garbage can and that's that's gone and again we can also go down to their goals for and against and we can edit them here by clicking the edit button or delete them by clicking the delete button our stats button here will give you some in-game stats some basic ones here you can also click the export PDF button right here and it will launch a PDF of that game it's a game summary and it'll give you a quick snapshot of everything that's occurred in the game so far and you can also do that from the report menu in the main menu which we will show you next so we'll uh, we'll just close this down and uh, we'll return to the main menu we haven't tracked a lot of stats but you get the idea that the interface is, is pretty simple drag and drop the stats where you want them to happen so we'll go to the report section here so the first thing you want to do when running a report is you want to tr you want to search the date range if everything was on one date or if it was over multiple you only have one game in here so it's only going to show the one game but we'll hit the date range we'll hit search it'll tell us it's found one game and uh, we can filter this actually out further we can filter it against teams so if we hit Toronto Sparks it's going to say no games because we don't have any games against them we only have a game against the Hawks and it was a season game so if we change that to tournament it's not going to show up anymore and again we have home and away so that was a home game so if we just leave this at all it's going to react the same way but as you accumulate more games and you want to search against specific games we can do that we'll hit export PDF and it will give you a summary of multiple games if you want that um, we've got the shot success which I showed you at the beginning which is giving you the players on the ice when the shots occurred um, our uh, pass success which gives us the pass percentage our face-off wins face-off detail and face-off success which uh, shows the uh, the players that were present on the ice when a face-off occurred and here's just a quick look at the face-off success report which may help you identify some breakdowns in your face-offs other than just your center so maybe look at your wingers that aren't doing their jobs etc but I'll leave that for you to manage and uh, hopefully this gives you some insight on how to use this app and how it can help you and your team so thanks for watching and I hope you check it out